welcome back to day four of our less than 30 minutes power yoga flow. Today, as we move from the digestive tract on day one to lower back or the spine health, then to hips, especially tight hips, and now on to the core. So the abdominal muscles is today's focus. A lot of poses, as I have mentioned in the past videos, they all tie your whole body in. Yoking, uniting, that's what yogis in our flow and in our practices will always do on a regular basis. So whenever we're on the mat, in our poses, we're keeping in mind that everything is coming together and flowing. So this flow, a power flow, is going to focus on our core muscles. We'll be working our core, which means we're also working our back muscles. They are super interconnected, so you will feel the presence of your back muscles as you use tightening up using your core. So don't relax your back too much because your back is absolutely needed and will be worked on. So, without further ado, let's start off really warming up our spine and our core this time. We're just going to do a couple of rolling up until we go all the way into standing. And we're going to just hug our knees together. You can feel our back really feeling the massage from the cervical spine all the way to the sit bone, our coccyx. Rolling until we go into standing. Woo! Inhaling all the way up. Exhale, let go. Let's do 
one more round of that. Opposite elbow. Inhale. Same elbow. And lastly, right in the center, hold, hold, and place that leg down for pigeon. Remember our pigeon for the hip openers? Yes. Excellent. Collapsing all the way down if you choose to. Arms by your side. Now inhale all the way up, sucking in the belly. And as you exhale, let's send that foot all the way back, hovering above, sucking in the belly. Go into Chaturanga in one leg. Up dog. Now downward facing dog. Let's go on the other side. So you inhale your left foot up to the sky. Exhale and bring it through an opposite elbow. Inhale. Exhale. The left elbow. Inhale. Now down to center. Need to notes. Inhale. One more round of this. Right down the center. Hold. And bring all the way down to pigeon. You can collapse all the way down. Arms by your side if you push. Some of us might feel more comfortable than others in pigeon. This is just to bring into perspective of what we learned in the last session. Inhaling, stretching out the belly. And exhaling, one leg is shoulder. We'll go again. Now on the right. So keep the left lifted. Inhaling, up dog. Exhale, curling your toes under. Downward facing dog. Excellent. We'll do a couple of walks the dog until we go into our lifting the legs. We've done these before in the shorter videos of less than 15 or less than 20 minutes. So let's go right into it for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So that is the beginning. Now it gets a little more challenging as we go into. Let me fix up my shirt for a little bit <laughs> and go right back into down dog. So as you lift your leg up. You're taking a little hop. Go oh, 10, 9, 8. Breathing. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. Bring your knees down and go into child pose. <sighs> Rolling out your wrist as you need to. As you wish, you can raise the arm beside yourself also. It's a little harder to roll out the wrist this way. Mm -hmm. But it is truly helpful. Walk yourself up into a neutral position. Rolling your shoulders back and down. Back and down. That should warm up the core. <laughs> Excellent. Turn your neck clockwise a couple of times. And then we go into a counterclockwise. A couple more times. And let's swing our legs in front of us. And inhale. As you exhale, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down onto our backs, making sure that we're relaxed with our back all 
judging. <laughs> we can go into, as you advance, you can choose to do regular bicycle or scissor where you're using your legs and you're tapping each opposite knee to opposite elbow. So one version is, we're going to go for 20. So 20, or you can go into scissor. challenging way to really know how your core is working. You can lift your neck or stay all the way down. A way to know is you can use your arm to clasp behind your neck to support it. So you can go right in front and start to go into butterfly. Go all the way down, and come all the way back up, exhale, inhale as you go down, exhale as you come back up. This one's quite challenging for me to keep my back all the way down to the ground. That is a challenge, but this is a test to see how strong your core is. And all the way back. Hugging your knees to your chest. We are almost halfway there. We did 10 push-ups earlier. Keeping track of my push-ups. Let's roll ourselves up slowly. Should feel a little looser compared to what we did in the beginning. As we roll up. All the way up to the sky. <sighs> Mountain pose. Head to heart center. Let's go into a couple of sun salutation. Inhaling. Exhale or fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold all the way down. Jump on the back. Five push-ups here. One, two, three, four, five. Inhaling up dog. Exhale downward facing dog. Looking between your fingers. Jump right through. Inhale. Exhale, hand to heart center. Let's go one more round. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, jump on back. Five more push-ups. 
inhale all the way. Squeezing your butt out, stay here for your abdominal stretch. Exhale, curling your toes to downward facing dog. Walking out of your dog. Excellent. Looking between your fingers, jumping on through. Inhale. Exhale, hand to heart center. Excellent. We'll go into a little balance here, which also works your core. Balancing is really important. It's a way for you to learn how to catch yourself if you would or should fall. So here we go. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling down. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, fold. As you jump on back. Exhale. Inhale all the way. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhaling your right foot up to the sky. Bring it through for lunge. As you inhale yourself all the way up. This is a little bit of a balancing act. And if you can, and you feel comfortable, get yourself in your next inhale into warrior three. Suck in your belly. Really work on this balance on one foot. And we're gonna go into half moons shortly. Bring your right fingers down parallel whoop, to the your toes. And you can look straight ahead or staring with your eyes down to the ground. Remember your breath. Let's bring that hand down to meet the other hand. And let's go into a split. So 
up, up, onto all fours. Doing some simple poses for the core for a few more minutes as we cool down. Inhaling your right hand all the way parallel to the mat and your left leg parallel to the mat. Stay here. Feel the balance and the stretch. Bring your knee up as you bring it back. Your hand just stretch out this side of the body. Every time you inhale, you take a deeper breath into the pose. And exhale, letting go slowly. Inhale, stretch deeper. And exhale, release. Bring your arms back to the front and your leg to the back. One more breath, and we're going to switch. Inhaling the left, with the right leg back. Stay here, feel the stretch. Inhaling. On the next breath, curl your toes, reach on back. Inhale as you pull to stretch deeper. And exhale, release. Inhaling. Exhaling. One last deep breath. Releasing yourself. Stay here for a moment. Bring yourself all the way back down. Excellent. Just sway your hips, just remembering to stretch your hips out clockwise. It's actually one of my favorite pulses. If you're really loosening up the spine, the hips, and the core all at once. Good. Let's go in the opposite direction, counterclockwise. In my case, Excellent. Remember how we did a little crab hop thanks to Sean V's video? This time, it is a little bit of a core challenge, but it's kind of the opposite of what we did with the shoulder tap. This time is a knee tap. So curl up your toes, knees is hip width apart, arms is still right underneath your shoulders, and you're going to lift your knee up like so. Very subtle, but a very important core workout. Right hand to left knee. Ready? Left hand to right knee. We're going to go again. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Woo. Place those knees down and go back into child's pose. Woo. We are ready for a little bit 
knowledge of where our organs are delivering our food from the small intestine into the colon. Let's go back. Bring your right knee towards your chest, hugging it in tightly. When you feel comfortable, reach your left hand and hug it in with your elbow. You can bring that knee towards the left side of the body and tap all the way in the ground until you feel comfortable. Just opening up. Your back may crack, your knees may pop, your body is just ready for this restorative twist. Excellent. Inhaling your way up. Sending that knee all the way back down. Hugging the left into your chest. And as you are ready, bring your right wrap around your left knee. Sending that knee all the way down to the ground. On the opposite side. Inhaling. center. Bring the right knee to meet the left and together hugging your knee tightly, rewarding yourself for this flow and core workout in less than 30 minutes. Swing side to side, massaging on your back. You may stay here and finish in final savasana. And with that, I want to thank you for joining back again on today's flow, focusing on the core work and wrapping in everything else that we've learned so far. Thank you and namaste.